Assalamu alaikum my dear students and viewers we are going to discuss the poem our class 9 subject English the name of the poem is I cannot remember my mother this poem is written by Rabil Nath Tagore first of all we should know who was Rabil Nath Tagore you have earlier read his poem Rabil Nath Tagore was born in 1861 and died in 1941 an Indian poet, philosopher, and noble laureate was born in Calcutta, now Calcutta. He began to write poetry as a child. His first book appeared when he was 17 years old. After a brief stay in England, 1878, to study law, he returned to India, where he rapidly became the most important and popular author of colonial era, writing poetry, uh, short stories, novels, and plays. He composed several hundred popular songs, and in 1929 also began painting. Tagore wrote primarily in Bengali because he was from Bengal and Bengali, his, his mother tongue was Bengali but translated many of his works into English himself. Critics agree that they are much more effective in the original. Uh, Tagore's writing, writings is highly Majestic, deeply religious, and imbued with this love for the nature and his homeland, he was awarded the he was awarded the uh, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in the literature for his work Gitanjali, and in 1915 he was uh, knighted by the British King George V. Uh, Tiger renounced his knighthood in 1999 following the Amritsar massacre of nearly 400 Indians demonstrated by the British troops. He collected uh, his collected poems and plays were published in 1966. He is also known for establishing Shanti Niketan a University at Kalka, now which is known by the name of Vishwa Bharti University. Now we learn about this poem. What is the theme of this poem? I cannot remember my mother. My mother, the poet. If we go through this poem, the poem is about the sensitive and intense feeling of a child. So we can say the feel is here. The theme is here, sensitive and intense feelings of a child. What a child is, what, what a child is feeling about her, about his mother, he remembers all the things that the mother used to do. We all know that, know that, that the, uh, uh, the remembrance, the memories of our mother in the childhood is remains with us all forever. And here we can say that what a child is thinking about his mother when the mother is not before him or uh, is not alive. Uh, you will open your book at page number 67. I will read first stanza. I cannot remember my mother only sometimes in the midst of my play, a tune seems to hold over my playthings, the tune of some song that she used to hum while rocking my cradle. I cannot remember my mother, but when in, in the early autumn morning, the smell of sh surely flowers floats in the air, the scent of the morning service in the temple comes to me as the scent of my mother. I cannot remember my mother only when from my bedroom window I send my keys into the blue of the distant sike. I feel that the stillness of my mother's gaze on my face has spread all over the sike. Now, if we look upon the first stanza, I cannot remember my mother. I is, uh, this is here Rabina Tagore or we can see here the child, an imaginary child who says that I cannot remember him. Why I cannot remember mother? Because only sometime in the midst of my play, a tune seems to hover me. I can only remember that when I was playing, uh, the, uh, the, uh, sometime in the midst of my play, a tune seems to hover over upon my uski. Uh, now, uski jo nigga jo hai, wo mujhe muh karti dikhai de rahi hai. Hover. H O V E R. Hover means moving you have seen when uh, when we are in the childhood the the mother is looking at us 
and we are attached with our mother. So it shows the attachment with the mother. I cannot remember my mother. Only sometime in the midst of my play, a tune seems, tune, here uh, uh, it means, dun, saaz. Seems to hover over my playthings. Playthings means toys. Uh, toys. Uh, you know that in our childhood, our mother is keeping our these toys safe. Toys, etc. And a tune of some song that she used to hum while rocking my cradle. So, when I was going to sleep, when I was in the cradle, and she was singing the these lullabies for me. Wo, wo mujhe loria sunati. When I was in the cradle. When I was singing in the cradle. So I remember that. So I am unable to remember my mother. Because uh, the poet, perhaps the poet has lost his mother in his childhood. No. Uh, now he, uh, he says that I am, I am remembering those songs, those cradle songs, those lullabies. She used to hum while rocking, while rocking my, rocking here means singing. Rocking. When I was sleeping in the cradle. Rocking means swimming. Rocking my? Rocking my cradle. Jab me jule me kakar jab me so rata and wo muje loria sunati ti, wo muje gati ti, wo muje yad hai. But I cannot remember my mother. So, inshallah, we will do it tomorrow. We will continue it tomorrow. From the second stanza, this is end of our today. Thanks.